The Worcester Engine Works Company was set up in 1864 by a group of railway entrepreneurs to manufacture locomotives and rolling stock. In 1869, they received orders for hundreds of velocipedes, leg-action locomotives. It later became the West Central Wagon Works, whose principal work was the manufacture of railway carriages and wagons. It was linked by rail to the main line, as can be seen by the red lines on the photograph. These links also extended via a subway to premises on the south side of Shrub Hill Road. Unfortunately, too much money was spent on elaborate buildings and tools from the best makers. The adoption of Swindon by the Great Western Railway for manufacture and repair sounded the death knell for Worcester, and the Shrub Hill Works were closed by 1871. Worcestershire Exhibition of 1882 inspired by the Great Exhibition of 1852, used the ex-engine works building as a venue. Richard Hammersley Heenan was a civil engineer and entrepreneur. In 1881, he went into partnership with former East India Railway colleague Richard Hurrell Froud, forming Heenan and Froud Limited. After purchasing a factory in Manchester in 1902, the company greatly expanded after incorporating and moving its headquarters to Worcester in 1903. After World War I, the French motor car company Dirac acquired a major stake in the company. After the merger of the Sunbeam Talbot Dirac, Motor Car Companies in 1920, STD acquired the residual shares in Heenan and Froud. After STD Motors went bankrupt in 1935, the business was acquired by investors and renamed Heenan Group Limited. In 1968, Heenan Group was acquired by Redmond Engineering and renamed itself Redmond Heenan Froud Limited. Soon after the company decided to cease its heavy engineering business and concentrate instead on property developments and leasing changing its name to Redmond Heenan International PLC. In the late 1980s, the division of Fruit Engineering became part of Babcock International. In April 1986, Sir Stanley Clark CBE led the reverse takeover of the company by backing his Clark St. Modwin property development business into the virtual shell company that was Redmond Heenan International PLC. Following completion of the deal, the company was renamed St. Modwin Properties PLC. The residual engineering businesses were sold to FKI Group in 1987. 